Damage caused by metal contaminants can be a costly and timely expense on horizontal and tub grinders. The Vermeer Damage Defense System helps owners keep their grinders productive by detecting certain metal contaminants and reducing the likelihood that it causes damage. This video is intended to explain how to properly calibrate the damage defense system in order for it to function properly. Please refer to the grinder's operator's manual for further detail. The calibration process is important to understand, not only for the initial setup, but for ongoing calibration as well. As material changes, damage defense system will require a new calibration each time in order for the system to work properly. Let's first look at how the system works. When the system is calibrated properly, green lights will flash on the control box while grinding, indicating an allowable tolerance of vibration. If a contaminant enters the mill area and makes contact with either the anvil or hammer mill, the system will activate and reduce engine speed to low idle, disengage the clutch, lower the thrown object deflector, reverse the infeed, and sound a warning horn. The operator will then need to shut the engine off and remove the contaminant before reactivating the system and continuing to grind. Calibrating the control box. First, you will need to verify that damage defense system is selected within the DP-10 controller in order for it to function properly. In the main menu, select Setup, then DMG Def Config, then verify DMG Defense is selected. With the machine off, set the fine tune knobs to zero. The course gain switches to L for low and the reset arm switch to reset. It's important to note that with the switch set to reset, the system will not protect the machine from potential damage. The reset mode bypasses the damage defense system and will not control machine functions, only used for setup. Start the machine and begin normal grinding procedure. Adjust each fine tune knob higher until green lights begin to flash. The green lights should be jumping dependent on the material density as it strikes the anvil and hammer mill. The optimal peak on the green light bar is about 0.5 inches or 1.25 centimeters below the beginning of the red bar. If the fine tune knob adjusts to 10 without achieving the desired magnitude, return them to zero and adjust the course gain switch from L to M and readjust the fine tune knobs to find that optimal peak. Repeat this step if the fine tune knob hits 10 again without results. It's important to note that when grinding a wide variety of material types, calibration should occur while grinding the highest density material. For example, in yard waste, there could be large chunks of solid wood. The wood should be ground during calibration to reduce the likelihood that it would activate the system while grinding the yard waste. Once you have reached the desired sensitivity on the green light bar and the fine tune knobs are locked, the system then needs to be armed by shifting the top switch to the right. Once the system is armed and working, it will appear on the DP-10 display or remote control screen. Proceed with normal grinding operation. When the system activates, there will be a prompt on the remote screen and a red light will illuminate for the circuit that was activated and the grinder will go into shutdown sequence. The operator will then need to shut down and exit the loader and properly shut down the grinder to inspect the mill area for damage and remove the contaminant. The reset arm switch will need to be cycled to the arm setting before resuming normal grinding operations. Please refer to the grinder's operator's manual for further detail. Yeah.